Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Turkish with me. We've just been Crystal Palace 4-1 at the Emirates. Turkish, you ended the stream by streaming. Yes, 10 games to go. That is it. Off the back of what we saw on Thursday, it's looking very good for Arsenal right now. Yeah, it's looking very good. I can't lie to you. It's been a long time since we've been in this position. Mm. You know, a long time. First things first, we bounced back against um, Palace after that sporting defeat. Mm -hmm. Going at the Europa League, I didn't like it. I know a lot of people are siding it off and, uh, and saying, you know, we've got bigger things to focus on. And that is true. We have got bigger things to focus on. But, you know, it would have been nice to be challenging on both fronts. But it is what it is. What we had to do was bounce back and we did that emphatically. Um, dominated the game, possession, chances created. We got four goals, cut down the goal difference to Man City. I think there's only a couple goals in it now. Mm -hmm. And all in all, eight points clear heading into the international break. Yes, they've got a game in hand, but it's not points on the board. Mm -hmm. So we're in a very, very strong position right now. Listen, I have to talk to you about individual performances off the what we just saw today. Um, just a few names I'm going to throw in and get your thoughts. Was Rob Holding, Vakaya Sackers, the Martinelli's, Granite Jackers. Like, there's, there's a few names. Thoughts on some of the players' performances here? You need names half the squad. Like, um, <laughs> it's a good thing. I'm um, Rob Holden. Obviously, listen, no one wants to see any of our first teamers out of action. And Saliba's been a big part of why we are where we are now. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, when I came in today, I was looking more back at the sport in defeat. And the biggest gripe for me was losing Saliba than it was going out of the Europa League because... Saliba's integral for us but Holden came in against Sporting he done well and he started the game today and I think he done well I don't think Crystal Palace posed much of an attacking threat yeah. if I'm honest but he dealt with what he had to deal with he was there the goal we conceded from a set piece yes we've conceded a few from set pieces recently but I don't put that down to anyone I just think it just you know fortunately landed for the for, for the Palace player Schlupp and they scored their goal Holden done well Martinelli he's the one on fire we started the season with you know, people saying Saka's quiet. It was Martinelli and Jesus getting the headlines. Yeah. Then Saka steps up and he starts taking the headlines. And then recently now people are saying Saka's quiet again. <laughs> but he goes and bangs too. <laughs> Martinelli's got like six in six now. So with, with Jesus back, with Trossard, another assist today. Mm. That, that front line, who, whoever it is out of those four players, whichever three we play, mm. I'm very confident against, against anyone right now, home and away. Mm. Let me ask you this, because I know you're a man that, you know, speaks about pressure and whatnot. Vakayo Saka, you just said there, sometimes people say he's quiet, but he pops up with two goals. He used to have all the pressure carrying this Arsenal side. How much of a relief for you as a fan and just, and for him, do you expect, you know, that he has to have less pressure now? He can rely on Trossard, he can rely on Martinelli to just take the show because he, he's doing so, he's doing so well and can have an off game when everyone else can have a really good game. Not saying he had an off game today, but the pressure that he's, he doesn't have to have now carrying this Arsenal side. Yeah, I mean, listen, years gone past, he carried Arsenal. Mm. And, you know, we was always looking at him mm. to make the difference. I don't think that's changed much in terms of looking at him to make a difference because he stepped up again this season. Mm -hmm. We brought in Jesus. We was all gassed about it. You know, we saw what Jesus brought for the, for the team. Odegaard stepped up too. Martinelli stepped up. But the star boy is still Saka. Yeah. You know, I mean, what is he on now? 12 goals, all comps, 10 yeah. assists. Yeah. The only player in double figures in, in both metrics. Mm -hmm. He's having another great season. If we if we continue this and and, and go on to win the league, mm -hmm. then he's he he's surely in there for player of the season and young player of the season. I think he's still in there with a shout, even if we do slip up and not get it over the line, which I don't even want to think about. But Saka, star boy, he is the man that you know I look at and think if we're gonna get something out of nothing, you know, we'll it's do. him. And in that first half, you know, we we didn't really create much chances until that first goal and that first goal was created by Saka mm -hmm. weaker foot cross yep. into the box Martinelli gets it and it was a great finish from Martinelli yeah. and then you have Saka who had a great finish of his own with that Tierney assist I'm glad Tierney come on and, yeah. and gave something and when Saka went over to him whispered something in his ear so that That's was a good right, moment yeah. for Kieran as well you know all is looking well aside from the Saliba injury at this moment in time all is looking well for us to go and you know take this over the line there's three checkpoints to go Oh. First checkpoint Anfield, yep. second checkpoint Etihad, third checkpoint St. James Park. Then I Saint believe we've got three games to go to the, to the end of the season after that one. So those three are the checkpoints now where difficult games. Not the little games, not the little teams, not the Southamptons at home. Because like I, I, I feel like we're, I'm doing that as well. I'm, like, I'm looking at the big away games. I'm thinking, no, Cecil, we've seen how this Premier League's been this season. We can't just... Disregard yeah, yeah. those little teams. 100%. Don't get it twisted, especially this time of the year. Mm. When you look at how tight it is from 12th down to bottom. Yeah. Um, you look at some of these teams, Southampton, Leeds and, uh, and you know, Everton's and, and West Ham. They're all going to be fighting mm. for their lives 
in these last 10 games and we've got a few of those I think we've got West Ham away yeah, and then we've got Leeds yeah. at the Emirates so we've got we've got tough games overall but I just look at those three away ones and I say if we can get five points minimum mm. ideally six out of the nine available we win this league that's not me disregarding the the teams lower down the table because they're going to be tough games yeah. as well but everyone always says it every game's tough in the Premier League Amen. And and we've been handling our business more often than not. There's only two, maybe three games this season that we haven't deserved anything from. Aside from that, we've been smoking teams. Yeah, and, true. you know, I, I believe we can still keep on doing that. It's the three big away games that I'm waiting on to, to see how we come out of the other end from... From the front thing. Thank you very much, Circus, and happy birthday, my brother. Love, my G. Love. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk Subscribe to us on YouTube Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch We've got content for every platform So check it out